So this video isn't particularly related to anime shading, but it is something the patrons overwhelmingly voted that they really wanted to see. So here we go. Now, for the record, I absolutely hate retopology. I despise it with a passion, and I think it's bullshit when I find myself spending more time retopologizing than sculpting. So I went on a life journey to find the most efficient, fastest retopology workflow possible. And that's what I'm going to share with you today. So if you're sculpting in Blender, there's an add-on that you should really invest in called Quad Remesher. It's a hundred bucks, but it will save you years of your life. J429 has created an excellent tutorial explaining it in depth, but the gist of it is after you finish sculpting, vertex paint any areas with related geometry, then decide how many polygons you want, and press the remesh button here. You're done. Usually it does 90% of the work for you automatically. Now if you're using ZBrush, it's actually even easier. Instead of vertex painting, just use polygroups to highlight areas of geometry you want to preserve the boundaries between. Then under geometry, you go to Z remesher, usually the defaults are just fine, make sure to keep groups checked on, and decide how many polygons you want. This number is usually in thousands, so 5 equals 5,000. I'm doing a game so 1 to 2,000 should be more than enough. Hit remesh, and you're technically done. From here you export the model as an OBJ, and import it into Blender. Now quad remesher and Z remesher are awesome, but they're not perfect. Very often you'll get point clusters that make absolutely no sense. You'll have to manually clean up a few areas, and usually it's not too bad, but because of this, usually what I do is I go to edit mode, delete half the object, export it as an OBJ, then bring it into Maya. Then go up to mesh, remesh, again to mesh, and this time read to apologize. Set the amount of polygons you want, I'm just gonna pick 1500, and if you're having trouble, I recommend uncheck and preserve hard edges, and read to apologize. Now because we split the model in half, it's gonna work a lot faster than normal. And you're done. Beautiful automatic topology. And those weird point clusters that sometimes appear in quad remesher really almost never appear in Maya's remesher. You can make additional adjustments if you want, but usually it's good to go from here. So that's my workflow. Simple, fast, with decent results, which means that you don't have to spend your life retopologizing. So hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.